Miss Connor, in my mind, was always the cool teacher that I wish I could get um, when I got to upper elementary school. Miss Connor actually, for her only only time she's ever taught fifth grade, uh, was the year that I had her, so I was excited um, that she was my teacher. Ms. Connor influenced me by just being an energetic, kind of warm, loving person, as teachers are in elementary school. They're just they make everything fun and it's fighting and kind of wanted to do the same thing. Alicia was always the kind of student that every teacher kind of secretly wants and you're not supposed to say, oh yeah, I really want this student. But she was always so um, focused on what she was doing in class. I mean, she loved reading. When I had Ms. Connor, you know, it was it was pretty much just kind of, it reaffirmed that like, this is what I want to do. You know, you, you're in a positive, happy profession. You're working with kids. Um, you get to read stories. You get to inspire kids. Um, as a student teacher, um, my goal pretty much when I made the decision to go back into education was I want to go back to Forestville Elementary and teach where I fell in love with learning. I knew from the very beginning she was going to be a teacher because, like I <laughs> laughingly told her the other day, she has the teacher handwriting. what the author's going to do. A couple years ago, my roommate, she said, you know what, I think there might be a fourth grade position opening at my school. Have you heard of this school called Forest Phillips in Great Falls? And I laughed and I said, that is my dream school. That is where I want to go. And I remember um, way back when, when um, I was waiting for the interview, I was looking at the pictures of all the staff, the staff photos, and I said, oh my gosh, is that Miss Connor? And he, and the front staff said, yeah, that's Ms. Connor, and I was just, I was so excited that she was still here after all these years. But when I saw her, I was like, Ms. Connor, and she was like, you don't have to call me that anymore, you can call me Jane. Um, and to this day, I mean, she's still helping me learn the ropes of sixth grade and the curriculum and that kind of thing, and so when I don't understand, you know, something, or if I need a little bit more explanation, or, you know, how, how have you done this in the past, I, I don't call her Jane, I say, Ms. Connor, I need your help, as if I'm still her student, um, because I still, feel like I always will be her student. You'll always be my teacher in some respects.